What's up YouTube? I'm back from another video here. I just want to share with you my pickups. Uh, PC wise, uh, got forgot one. Be right back. Okay. Uh, this first few are from the same seller. They were running a sale on eBay and I picked up these former Mountaineers and uh, these are from Fleer Retro that's what I like about Upper Deck they re redone some inserts and some nice looking cards from uh, years past that's where uh, let me see here okay that's Panini and then Panini went and redid yeah, a few that were only in, like, Father's Day packs and special, like, special edition packs. I think maybe national packs. And I've got a few of those as well. But these first three are from the Fleer Retro line from 2013. That is this, let's see, Fleer Metal. Planet Metal. Man, that's a lot of glare there. There we go. Really nice looking. Carter Geno Smith. Keeping up with the Geno Smith. Here is the Under Pressure insert. So really nice. I'm trying to pick up a lot of those. Because they're really cheap. I got this whole lot for was around 15 shipped. And the last one from uh, that seller was a Stedman Bailey. And that is the Precious Metal Gems. And it is out of 50. Then on to the Panini ones. Got this. Uh, I think these are called Lava Flow. There you can kind of see it. But... Uh, that is from the old uh, studio. I think it was like 1991, if I'm not mistaken. The baseball design that they did. They brought it back for some football cards. Football inserts there. Then uh, I know a lot of you guys have probably seen these. Team Pinnacles. They brought that back. And there's the lava flow for Gino on that side. And I think Matt Barkley's on the other side. So... And then the last one, I didn't have a cracked ice, so I did pick up this one from Panini 2014. And it's out of 25, and that's the Geno Smith cracked ice. I think that's from the Father's Day packs, maybe. So, then keeping up with the Fleur Retro, I did buy another card that was... From a different seller. This one was three bucks. And it is from the same Blue Retro set. <coughs> Excuse me. And that is the exclamation points insert. Really nice looking acetate insert. You can see through plastic card. We're trying to get a lot of those inserts because there were three West Virginia guys that were featured in that issue so I'm tracking down them and then uh, the soul wrestling pickup had been unsuccessful at bidding on some Luke Gallows autographs out of the undisputed line and I finally did get lucky and win I think this one is the silver because the blacks were out of five. But I did win this autograph home card. 15 of 50 there. I think I got it for six bucks plus shipping. And I got another card here. A Stedman Bailey. Was stoked to win this one. Because it's really short printed. It's the uh, camo parallel out of the top's finest. 
rookie, uh, what are these called? RAP, I guess. And it's out of 10. And I won this one for like three bucks, I think it was. Plus three dollar shipping. So it was like six bucks for a. I mean, it is a sticker, but it's a nice looking card. And the patch. And it is four out of ten. So it was a nice steal, I think, for Stedman Bailey PC. And then we get to this lot. I won this. This big lot here of racing cards for less than 10 bucks shipped and there's some different stuff uh, first up you know the e-tops there's this Greg Biffle really nice design for those then I got out of 95 max one of the uh, chase the champions down on heart and then one of the car black good wrench then you've probably seen this this next card before in my videos so I'll have several of these a lap later out of 97 press pass premium then we have a platinum hologram from wheels there you go that looks really nice and then I do believe this is the silver series hologram then we got the championship reflections of Dale Earnhardt I think these are called premier position you get the uh, I'm not I think it's like if I'm not mistaken it's like two drivers and you put them together and it makes uh, completes the picture I think is how those were either another driver or the car that they drove this next one is what is this one called ah the tiger I believe Dell senior and I I don't know I guess I could just toss this I'm not really a fan of this guy I think Dave Archer maybe he is maybe I'll save this one for him and that is Kyle Bush Josh Johnson fan I want this one it's an insert I'm not sure how hard these are to get it's C C2 it's out of the prism competitors I guess competitors what the insert is called and I got a nice Paul Menard it's like the lava flow that I showed before out of mini prism really sharp looking card camera don't do that in justice really sweet and that one is out of 99 then there were two hits in the lot first up is this magnificent materials I think this was out of the fanfare line that box that I busted a while back I think this is what these came out of Sam Hornish jr. out of 125 sheet metal and then the last card was an autograph this guy has really neat looking autograph I think I had noticed it before but I never pulled a trigger on any of his autographs I don't know for sure what he drives I'm, I don't think it's NASCAR I'm pretty sure it's not NASCAR what series is it okay on this card it's Pro Series East he drove in 2012. It's a uh, George Ortega car. And look at his autograph. It's like like the uh, heart monitor thing, you know. It's like the heartbeat. That's what his uh, autograph looks like there. Really neat looking autograph. Number eight, I guess. So that one is out of 399 that's what I thought it looked like anyways but that is my card haul I thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video